Once upon a time, I was scrolling through Amazon, looking for the next pair of earbuds or headphones to review. And something stopped me in my tracks. 9,000 pairs of these earbuds were sold over the last month. This is ridiculous. Have you ever heard of Zingbird X15s? I had neither. I figured, what the heck? I'm obviously missing out on something, so let me see what the hype is all about. I mean, 9,000 people can't be wrong, right? So I had to check them out. And now, you get to check them out too. These are the Zingbird X15s. So the first thing you see when you open the box is a fancy business card. Who cares? Next, you've got the case with the earbuds inside them. And you get your usual extra set of earbuds, size small and large. The mediums are on the earbuds currently. And then you've got a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Oh, and I forgot. A decent size user manual with a fancy shiny sticker on the front. But as for the case itself, I do like the fact that it has the charging for the case. The charging percentage is right there in the middle. And then on the left side and the right side, you do see that the earbuds are charging. As for the earbuds themselves, they got a nice sleek futuristic look. I would say this, this is a um, AirPods Pro style right? The charging port, it's on the very bottom of the case, which is nice if you have one of those, I don't want to call them docking stations, but they're typically good for on your nightstand near your bed where you can charge your phone. Well, if you've got one that has a USB cable sticking up, or if you've got a wireless charger, you can just sit these things right down on it and they will recharge as well, which is really convenient. Let's talk about comfort and fit. Now, if I'm honest here, I don't like these kind of earbuds, the stem style with the, um, bulb sticking out like well, most of them do they just don't stay in my ears historic i know what you're thinking but i do not have misshapen ears it's just my ear canals hate me anywho these actually stay in for a while but then again i was just sitting down on the couch checking these out listening to my test tracks and i had no issues the problem happened when i got a phone call my grandmother called me and i was worried that they weren't going to sound good as it is i was talking to her and then one fell out and then like a minute later, the other one fell out. So I think it's that when your mouth is moving like mine is right now, it obviously shifts your ears around and these things tend to pop out. Let's talk about sound quality now because this is where the rubber hits the road, right? Check out some of these Amazon reviews. Sound quality is great, great sound, fantastic sound. Sound is good, exclamation point. Let's see about that. I had high hopes, right? I know they're only $30, but still, for 9,000 of these sold every month, they must be amazing. <sighs> they were not. Here's the problem. When I play them, I play them with an assortment of music, whether it's hip hop, classic rock, classical, you know, I try to give it a wide range of music, stuff with heavy bass, some uh, songs with good sound stage, etc., uh, instrument separation. These things are basically duds. Okay, with the highs and the mids, they sound like they're put through a cheese grater. Now, obviously I'm exaggerating, but when you crank up the volume a little bit, these things just fall flat. The music does not sound clean and clean and crisp like you'd expect. They do, however, pump out a lot of bass. But if you know anything about earbuds and headphones, typically lower quality pairs tend to bump up the bass to overcompensate for the lack of quality with the highs and the mids. And that I think is what's going on here because these things do thump, but then I remembered Spotify has an EQ customizer. I'm saved, I got this. I know I can save these earbuds because I've done it in the past with other headphones and earbuds just by tweaking the EQ. It's turned mediocre audio devices into pretty damn good ones. Easy enough, right? No. I spent about 30 minutes trying every little adjustment on the EQ I could think of and they still sounded awful. Oh, and by the way, these don't have active noise cancellation either, right? And they also don't have a customizable app where you can adjust the EQ itself. So you do have to rely on the settings in Spotify, for example, to customize the EQ. Otherwise, you're not gonna tweak these things with an app, as opposed to Tozo, who has their own app. Now, normally I would spend about five or six hours trying to test the truthfulness behind the manufacturer's claim for the battery life. Seeing that these did not sound good, I just could not waste my time like that. So I think like right now, I'm pretty sure I've gotten about three hours use out of it. Case itself is down to about 80%. Now, if I'm supposed to get 60 hours out of these earbuds, 
So I've lost 20% of the case charge. So doing the math, 20% of 60 hours is 12 hours. See, that's not good. I've only used them for three, but yet the battery has gone down four times that much. So I'm very, very skeptical to believe that you'll get 60 hours of use. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. I think they are uh, way exaggerating, which most manufacturers do, but I think this one is one of the more egregious exaggerations. I mean, if you've got a pair of these and you feel differently than I do, just like let me know in the comments, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not impressed by these, and I am so confused at how many people buy these every single month, and I'm equally confused at the number of amazing reviews these things have. I don't get why so many of these are being sold. So just in case you like lousy earbuds, I'm going to leave a link for these down below on Amazon. Now, you're probably wondering, what pair do I recommend over these? Well, Tozo has a nice pair of T12s. They're called Tonal Dots now. I guess they're getting away from calling theirs T or A with two numbers or one number or whatever, right? So I've reviewed the T6s, the T10s in the past. These are the new T12s. They have more features, more battery life, and way better, way, way, way better sound quality than these. I'll leave the link for those Tozo tonal dots in the description below as well. Thanks for watching.